What's up, Instagram? We're in the kitchen tonight. Let me show you what I got on the menu. Uh, we also are going to be making sweet potato gnocchi with Gormino, Gruyere, and Emmentaler scented with a little sage and thyme. Let's see if we can pull this off. The sweet potato and the cheese in a bowl. We're gonna put in the turmeric. We're gonna add a little salt. We're gonna add the egg. And this part you can mix as aggressively as you like. What you really uh, don't wanna mix aggressively is when you add the flour in. So we're gonna go ahead and add in just a little bit of, I just had some dried, my own dried sage and thyme. I'm of the opinion that less is more. So I like just a little hint, a little scent of the herb. We're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of the herb inside the dough. Will be a little less than a one to one ratio of flour. You could always add more. What we're using is the double O pasta flour, double zero. It's really super fine. You can go ahead and use all purpose flour. It would be fine. So you don't want to over mix it. We have a little extra flour here. We're going to dust our board. We're going to turn it out. And we're going to start making our little, our little snakes. A little, you, you know, we're back in kindergarten class now, right? We're gonna make our little snakes. Like this. We will cut them. And then we'll, we have a gnocchi dowel here. I'm, uh, it's one of my favorite little tools because it really is for just this. And you go ahead and you roll them down like so. You don't push too hard. You just give it a little bit of push. Use the flour to help your job get done. We got a nice rolling boil of salted water. I'm gonna turn it down just a touch. We're gonna to get a little whirlpool going. We got enough water here where we can put them all in. I'm gonna give them a swim only until about the time they float, which is only gonna take about three minutes or so. Right, we're at the three minute mark. Now the little trick I have is that if you're not gonna eat the gnocchi right away, you can, this is an item you can cook ahead of time. So I have a bowl of ice here. And we're gonna transfer these right into the bowl of ice. And here we are, just drained gnocchi. Just coated them in a little bit of olive oil to hold them. From here, we could saute them up or just warm them up a little bit in some butter. And that is the dish. Let me give you a demonstration of what that looks like. We are making a butter sauce, but we're not gonna really make a brown butter sauce. We're gonna actually go ahead and keep it not brown. We just deglazed with a little rich chicken sauce. Uh, I'm sorry, a little rich chicken stock. And that helps re-emulsify the butter again and loosen the gnocchi from the pan. Just letting that reduce a second to get rich and glazy. And then we are gonna plate. And that, my friends, is the dish. I'm gonna microplane more cheese on there. More Gormino cheese, in this case, Gruyere or Emmentaler. Of course, all the Gormino cheeses go well with this. Let's take a taste. I hate to be the first to say it, but it's pretty good.